to section 4.4, we're going to talk about exponential and logarithmic equations. First type of equation we're going to talk about is the exponential equation. And that's an equation that has a variable and the exponent. So here are some examples of an exponential equation. Here is an equation and a variable x in the exponent, the variable x in the exponent, and the variable x in the exponent. There are two ways to solve exponential equation. And the first way is actually the easiest way as long as you have one thing. And that one thing is you have to have the bases be the same. So the first example here, I have 2 to the 3x minus 8 equals 16. The bases aren't the same, but you can make them the same because 16 is the same thing as 2 to the 4th power. 2 to the 4th power. The same thing 16. And once the bases are the same, if they're the same, you can go ahead and now make the exponents equal to each other. Because if the bases are the same, that means the exponents must equal each other. This means that 3x minus 8 has to equal 4. Okay. So let's go ahead and solve this equation. We're going to go ahead and add it to both sides. So I get 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3 and I get x equals 4. So if I want to check this, all I do is go back and I look at 4 and I put 4 back into the original equation and see if that works. So 2 to the 3 times 4 minus 8 does that equal 16. So I get you 2 to the 12 minus 8 which is 2 to the 4th which is 16. So 16 does equal 16. So it looks like that's the correct answer right there. Okay, so if you can get the bases to be the same or equal to one another, then the exponents must be equal to each other. Okay, so let's go ahead and on your own, go ahead and pause the video and try the next example, and then replay the video when you get done and check your answer. Okay, so I went ahead and made both bases, or made the base on the, the right hand side 5, because 125 is equal to 5 to the third power. Now they have the same base of 5, that means the exponents must be equal to one another. Now I set it equal to one another and solve for x, I get x equals 3. I didn't circle it until I checked it. And I got the equation to be true, so x equals 3 is the correct answer. Okay. But here's the problem. Most exponential equations cannot be rewritten so that each side has the same base. Here are two examples. If I have 4 to the x power equals 15, there's no way to make this base 15. There's no way to make these bases the same at all. Uh, this, may, this base would be a 4. There's no way to make this base a 2. And then make this one also a 2. This one you can, this one you can't. Likewise here, there's no way to make those bases the same. So if you cannot make the bases the same, there are some steps that you can do to um, solve an exponential equation by using logarithms. The first thing you want to do is you want to isolate the exponential expression. Sometimes it's already done for you and sometimes it's not. Then you want to take the common logarithm on both sides of the equation. or base 10, take the natural logarithm on both sides if our four bases other than 10. Then you want to simplify using one of the following. We have the natural log of b to the x that's going to equal x natural log of b. Or you're going to do natural log of e to the x is going to equal x. Or you're going to do log 10vx equals x. Okay. And the last thing you're going to do is you're going to solve for the variable. I'm get ready to pause my video because my phone is ringing. So solve for the variable. So I'm going to be right back. Okay, so let's go to example 2. And we're going to solve these. Um, and again, we can't make the base the same. So we're going to solve by using these four steps 
um, written above. The first thing when I say the exponential expression, well, in, the, in this problem A, the exponential expression is by itself. It had it had like a plus 5 here or something, like we would get rid of that. Then you want to go ahead and take the common log on both sides for base 10. Otherwise, you can take the natural log of them. So we're going to take the natural log of both sides. This becomes the natural log. Natural log of 4px equals the natural log of 15. And then we're going to go and simplify using the um, one of the following properties. And basically, we're doing just taking this x and moving it out to the front. So I get x natural log of 4 equals the natural log of 15. If you want to get x alone, you're going to divide both sides by the natural log of 4. And that will go away there. So I get x equals the natural log of 15 over the natural log of 4. And that's going to be the exact answer. Now, if you were to approximate it, we get x is approximately 1.95. And at this point, um, on the exam, I want both those answers. I think you're in my math lab, this is the exact answer. And then on the test, I want both the exact and the approximate answer. And what you want to do is you want to check this. You look up here and check it. You would check it right into here. So 4 raised to the, um, I'm going to talk about do 4 raised to the 1.95. I should get 15, and I get close to 15. And that's only because I rounded that off. Then I'm going to go ahead and try the next one. I have 10 to the x equals 120,000. And it says to take the common log on both sides of the equation of base 10. Because it's at base 10, I'm going to do the log of both sides. So the log of 10 to the x equals log of 120,000. Now there's two ways to do this problem. At this point, you might realize that this has got base 10 here. And this has um, a base 10 here. So this is this entire side equals x. If you don't realize that, then you just go ahead and do x log 10 equals log of 120,000. And then divide both sides by log of 10. So you get x equals the log of 10 is equal to 1. So the log of 120,000. And that's going to equal approximately um, 5.08. So I taught students that if you see this, this is right here, it's equal to x. This entire thing equals x. That's back from the last section because this is base 10. Base 10, these two negate each other out, and all you left with is x. So really, you can go straight down to this right here. You can go straight down to this step. And I hope you see that. You go straight to this step here. You would skip, skip this step. If you, don't, if you don't remember that, you would go ahead and do this step here, and you'd do the same answer. Okay? So on your own, go ahead and solve these two problems, and then pause your um, video, and then replay it when you are done and check your answer. Okay, so in part A, um, I got the answer to be the natural log of 134 over the natural log of 5, and I got x to be approximately 3.04. And then um, for the second one, I took the log of both sides, and by doing that, this right here just becomes x. So I get x equals the log of 8,000, which is approximately 3.90. Okay, so example three, we're going to do the same step. We're going to do the first step. We're going to make sure the exponential expression is alone. Right here is the exponential expression, right here. We need to get rid of this 40. We need to get rid of this minus 3. So first thing we do, I'm going to add 3 both sides. So I get 40e to the 0.6x equals 240. And then to get this alone, I'm going to divide both sides by 40. So I get e to the 0.6x equals 6. And then I'm going to take the natural log. Since this is the um, base is not 10, we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So I get the natural log of e to the 0.6x equals the natural log of 6. By doing that, notice how this base here is e, and this base here is e, so these two negate each other out, and I'm with 0.6x equals the natural log of 6. Remember, natural log of e to anything, uh, we'll call that um, x, which is going to equal x, because that base e. 
So I end up with um, 0.6x equals natural log of 6. Well, if I divide both sides by 0.6, x is going to equal the natural log of 6 over 0.6. That's approximately 2.99. So here's the exact answer. This is the approximate. Now, I'm not going to take time to do this, but if you wanted to make sure this was correct, the 2.99, when you put it into here, and you put it into this side or here, it should be about 237. So you can check this. You put it right into here, the 2.99. Okay? So on your own, go ahead and solve this um, problem here, and then go ahead and pause the video and um, restart it and check the answer. Okay, so I added 5 to both sides, and I got this um, equation here. I wanted the exponential expression alone. To do that, I divide both sides by 7. Here is the exponential expression alone. That's all step 1 right here. Now step 2 is to take the natural log of both sides, because I have base e. And by doing that, I now have 2x equals the natural log of 9. Divide both sides by 2, and so I get um, natural log of 9 over 2, which is approximately 1.10. Now, example four, um, I think I'm going to be running out of time here, so I'll go ahead and get started if I cut off or start finish the next video. I'm going to go ahead and the exponential expressions are actually isolated on both sides. You have two of them here. When we do here, I'm going to go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. By doing that now, I'm going to take this and bring it out to the front, and this bring it out to the front. I'm taking the entire thing branch from put parentheses here. Okay. Now what you can do here, this natural log of 5 is just a number, like a number 8 or something, whatever it is. I'm going to take that and distribute it here. So I get this times this. So I get x natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 5. It's going to equal, the same thing here, I'm going to distribute this and this, and this and this. So I get 2x natural log of 4 plus 3 natural log of 4. Now if you notice here I have x's on both sides and these are just numbers. Okay, if I put them in calculator it would just be a number. I'm going to try to get all my x's on this side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add, I'm going to subtract 2x ln 4 from both sides. And I'm also going to um, get rid of this on this side, and I get plus 2 natural log of 5 plus 2 natural log of 5. So what do I have left? On this side, these two can cancel each other out or give you 0. So I have x natural log of 5 minus 2x natural log of 4 is going to equal, these cancel out, 3 <coughs> natural log of 4 plus 2 natural log of 5. So now notice I have x and both are on the same side, and here I have uh, just numbers. So I have it on the same side, but I can't really combine these two because they're not like terms. What I can do is I want to get x in one spot, so I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out that x. It becomes x, x natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 4, because I took the x out of both these terms. It's going to equal 3 natural log of 4 plus 2 natural log of 5. Now if I want to solve for x, I've got to get rid of all this, I'm going to divide both sides by that value. Divide by the natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 4. So x is going to equal 3 natural log of 4 plus 2 natural log of 5 all over the natural log of 5 plus 2 natural log, or minus 2, I'm going to copy that wrong. So minus 2 natural log of 5, of 4. Gosh, I'm reading the wrong screen there. Okay, now to get the approximate answer, you're going to be really careful when typing a calculator. When you type in a calculator, you're going to actually, I don't have to do this in yellow, you're going to actually want to type in parentheses around this, and then parentheses around this. You're going to have both parentheses around here if you have the cut that I have. Okay, you should get approximately negative 6.34. So if you don't get that, make sure you uh, check with me in class if you're in my class, or just email me. We can figure out how to get that in your calculator. Okay, we're getting ready to stop the video, so try that on your own problem, and then restart the next part.